Hello everyone and welcome to all. So today we will create our first application and before doing that we will just take a look at the documentation part. So because if we need anything, if we need any support or we uh, we just need to find anything or about any of the object or function we can get inside into the documentation and we can explore it. So you can see we have search panel. We can explore this or we can go inside the quick links and we can use Appian functions and design objects, right? whatever is required. And you can see the latest version of Appian is 23.3. I'm using that only and uh, to read, read all the release notes, we can also use this tab. So this is the Appian documentation and this is very helpful. Just try to explore it in your free time and that's all. So let's get back into the Appian designer. So after creating your Appian community free edition, you will be having all the related details about it and you can use the link provided by Appian and you can get your password, the temporary password, you can replace it and you can log in. So after logging in, you can see you have this navigation dots. So we will navigate every time by using these navigation dots only and you can see there is a lot of applications out there. Right. There is a lot of applications and uh, uh, there are applications which is already there. You can see there are applications like Appy and Retail, Intelligent Document Processing, Community Edition Home. So these are the application which Appian has done the deployment, right? The incoming deployment in our Community Edition. So there are application which is already created and we can create the application from this button. So we can get started and let's get started by clicking on this button, new application. So whenever we are creating the new application, we just need to keep few things in mind. First of all, the application naming convention and the application prefix. So whatever name we will give to our application, the prefix will be accordingly managed according to the name right and the description is also important so we need to follow all these best practices and whenever i'm building something new or uh, i'm developing something i will tell you all the best practices so we just need to give the application name and the prefix so let me give the application name as first application and you can see the prefix is already coming f a and we can use this or if we want we can rename it and the description is it's my first app right so this is it this is it for creating a new application and you can see this is checked if i want that all the groups and folders will be created automatically without doing anything then we can check this or if i don't want this then i can uncheck this so i will be creating all these things in my next lecture and uh, right now i will only use this option and i will create this so now i don't have any groups inside this application so that's why i just need to click on save because i don't have any groups inside this application because groups are used to give the security features and let's save this and now my application is created you can see some options are coming i can cancel these pop-ups and i can directly jump into the build so this is how my application is looking you can see when i go inside the build everything is empty so build is the place where we can see all the objects all the design objects whatever we have created currently there is no that's why everything is blank and this is the deployment part where we can see all the incoming and outgoing deployment and this is the monitoring part where we can go inside the process activity and we can take a look at all the process instances in my application either it can be running active cancelled completed pause pause by exception it can be anything right and we can use all these filters to find out the instances and this is something new which we got in few latest release and these are just the preview part we can explore the sites we can just take a look at the sites and portals very quickly and we don't have to worry about this mostly developers will directly jump into this build section right and we can navigate through the sites by using these navigation dots so that's all in this lecture that's all thank you